Hey there cousins, welcome to an all new installation of 5 to 15 minutes of fashion with yours truly. It's your residence logo ho. It is I, Nina J. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be in the know about all things, that was really fast, so you can be in the know about all things fashionable and fantastic and fabulous. And if this isn't your first time here, congrats to you on making bad life choices and joining me so we can talk about all the glorious, well, quite unnecessary things we can spend our hard earned money on. So today's show is just kind of, I got inspired. I watched all of the fashion week last month, you know, Paris, New York. I didn't go to them because someone went and got themselves knocked up and they have a newborn baby, so they're not going to fashion weeks or fashion month this year, but next year I'm gonna be back at them. So watched a couple shows and then I got the genius if I'll say so myself. Maybe it's perhaps not genius. That I don't really like, I'm really into myself. Did I just call myself a genius? Like who does that? But I felt like it was pretty smart. So I was looking at the runway thinking the way I shop, I won't own it until it's like at the real real. So like all the 2024 stuff, like when 2027 rolls around, I'm gonna be in all of it. But until that time, can I find some designer inspired versions of it? And let me just tell you, these fast fashion high street retailers are like on it with coming up with some of these designer inspired items. Now, my disclaimer, I do not show knockoffs and I carefully use the word dupe. I use designer, I find designer inspired things. Things that are like a wink, is that a wink? I don't I'm having a stroke. But things that are a wink to the designers that kind of give praise, a little bit of imitation is the best, is it the best form of, of is, it, is it a compliment? You guys, pregnancy brain, newborn baby brain. I don't know, but I'm doing it in a way that more gives the props to the designer and doesn't like take away from the, the designer, which getting on my soapbox, I'm gonna get on it for a little bit, but you guys know I have a problem with Shein and Fashion Nova and even sometimes H&M, most, mostly because, you know, it's not great for our environment. That's not the real reason. So that's one of the reasons. One of the reasons is because it's bad for the environment, fills up landfills, so not great from that perspective. But I also don't like that those places tend to knock off smaller designers who Things. like buy an up and coming designer of color and then people don't buy it from that designer, which I don't think that's cool either. And what I've also found is, okay, so on the soapbox, what I love about some people who remain naming, who were blah, 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 by a vow, some people who will remain nameless, they want to talk about, you know, like when Balenciaga has a snafu in Gucci and how they're never wearing that stuff, but they have no problems wearing Shein, who's been in the news for um, chemicals in their clothing that are carcinogens, factories burning down where their workers work, paying their workers unfair wages, child labor, they're going to be in the Shein. And what it's starting to feel like to me is it feels like we're just going to boycott the things that we weren't going to spend $3,000 on anyways. That's what it feels like to me. But this is just my opinion. So this show is not going to show anything from any of those fast fashion retailers. Um, I'm going to show things from high street retailers. So I'm going to jump right in. If you guys did not see Scaparelli's runway show, watch all of mine and then go log on to um, Insta the Instagrams and pull up Scaparelli and look at their show or go to the Scaparelli website and just like flip through their lookbook. It was insane. Here we have um, Beyonce in custom Scaparelli, which we cannot get, but if you're not familiar with Scaparelli, they do like really cool avant-garde looks. They have, I was talking about them a while back, they have like these little nipple earrings, like it's an ear and a nipple. They do like really cool things. It's really ornate, but also very classic silhouettes, very beautiful. So let's just flip through some of Scaparelli. Oh, here's my girl Riri. I told you I feel like we would just be friends, like out pushing strollers with our newborn babies and our Fenty. I don't know, it's it's in my head, but in my head, like we're homegirls. So um, here's Rihanna in some Fenty. And then here we have, um, let me just flip through this. So this is on Scaparelli's website. Let me uh oh, we're gonna have to multitask, okay? I'm gonna pull it up. Let me see if I can pull up the actual thing on the good old device here. So here we go, loving this denim. I found a really good dupe of that denim or designer inspired version, again, not a knockoff, but obsessed with all things Scaparelli. Just, this is gorgeous, it's beautiful. Love, love, love all things Scaparelli. So did that all play through? Yes, so now let me just flip through some other looks. Love this, I just showed that. Again, just getting you familiar with the look and feel of it. Now, let me go to their designer-inspired version. So this store is called Urban 
Revivo, is that how you say it? Revivo, Re just look it up. Urban Revivo, I'll put a link to it on my website. But I absolutely love this cardigan. Um, the earrings with it are so cute too. But one of my favorites is this guy. And she is just beautiful. I love the big gold button. It is giving Scaparelli. And for, I think it's $80. And Scaparelli retails around, I don't know, this, like a sweater, a cardigan from Scaparelli is probably upwards of $3,000 to $5,000. And you could get it at Urban Revivo for 70, 80 bucks. Like, why not? Like, buy all of them. Absolutely adore this. And then the next thing that they have is, oh, here we go. So I showed you that denim dress. Let me pause, let me stop that here and go back to the denim dress. Where is it? That denim dress here. Well, here is a wink to it on Urban Revivo. Is that how we're saying that? Uh, love this version of the dress. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Is she not the cutest thing? Love the buttons, love the little cutout, super cute. I feel like you could layer it, do turtleneck under it, white button down under it for the fall so it'll transition, take you back and forth to all the seasons. Absolutely adore it. So love those things from Urban Revivo for from Scaparelli. Now, here's the meat of the show because I couldn't find uh, a lot of things that are designer inspired from Scaparelli. And this was just their spring, spring 2024 uh, lookbook and so we probably need to give the high street brands a little more time to kind of create something that's a wink to those designs so as things come up I'll be sure to share so next up you guys I about died so I think it was is her name Sarah Burton I think that's her name she is the creative director at McQueen and I feel like the McQueen spirit like lives on he um, died by suicide I don't know probably mid 20 teens and uh sarah burton has been their creative director and this was her last show and when i tell you she like put her foot in it like i mean it was insane it was so good let me show you guys some of the looks from my favorite looks from mcqueen you guys this is just it's gorgeous and then this love the mcqueen cutout blazer i like when they like do the cutouts in the midsection and on the sleeve and the super structured detail and it's just creating this really pretty silhouette i like that it cinches in the waist and the shoulder pads are really defined she loves the shoulder pad and then love this leather love the peplum detailing think it's great i love this red she likes red certain kinds of reds only really like the chanel reds the carolina herrera reds this mcqueen red like just into it this model is everything oh my gosh look at my girl naomi campbell walk walk across the stage i don't know the words that's something about the naomi campbell walk so here she is well into her 50s looking like a eight course meal you guys she looks amazing but love the peplum love the structured bustier super super beautiful and here we have this really pretty roughly number loving it loving it and then this oh you guys i will own this not in 2024 i won't own it because it'll be far too expensive but when it goes like on the resale market probably like in two to three years like 2027 2028 i will own this i can assure you i won't own it now but put a pin in it i will own it at some point it's gorgeous and then here just this beautiful jacket so pretty um okay so did i find something that wings to it. I gotta stop winking out like crazy. Did I find something? Yes, she did. So here at is it Menier de Bois? Menier de Bois? Menier de Bois. Um, it is a, I mean, it sounds like a French brand. I think it, I can't remember what it means, like I see fashion or something like that. Um, so look at this leather blazer. Is it not everything? So let's just take some time to enjoy all the things that are this leather blazer. How you guys, it's so good. Is it not so good? So, so good. Love it here. Probably wouldn't wear it with the vegan leather pants. I'm like, that's a lot. Looks a little matrix, but love it. I think it's gorgeous. And for 99 euros, which I don't know what the conversion rate is, but a little over $100 probably, why not? You know, it's super cute. And I ordered another blazer from here. It's not in yet, but I did do my research for the both of us. And so I've watched several hours of the YouTube people doing unboxing 
The only caveat I heard is that um, the return process is hard. So you wanna make sure that A, you're committed, and two, you kind of like are familiar with your size and when in doubt, always size up because if it's a pain in the bottom to return, you can get it altered. You can, it's very easy to take things in as opposed to letting things out. So love that. And then this is the one I ordered that I'm waiting to receive. It's corseted, it's the pinstripe. McQueen did tons of like menswear things for women. With the Hold on, drop my phone. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Um, so McQueen did tons of like menswear inspired things for women with the pinstripe. So I love this with the corset. I also like that, let me just flip through some of the pictures here. I like that um, you can reverse that corset too. Like if you wanna do the black corset on top of the pinstripe blazer, love the shoulder. What I would do, pro tip, with this to make it look um, more expensive, I would add shoulder pads and then before I'd wear it, I'd get it dry cleaned. Something about getting things dry cleaned makes the fabric look uh, more structured. So to give it more of a structured look, I would go to my tailor, order some um, shoulder pads from Amazon, go to your tailor, have your tailor put in the shoulder pads and then have it dry cleaned and it will look like a million bucks. Just a little tip for $3,000. Then found this at Nordy's. So this is, um, Bordot is how I'm saying it. It's probably not. It's probably something else. Or Bardot. I'm not really sure. Nonetheless, I have a link to it on my website. But this dress is giving me just McQueen vibes. Um, it reminds me of uh, the top of this peplum number uh, with just like the cutout corseted kind of armor chest. So let's go back here and flip through this guy. But how cute is this, right? It is vegan leather. It is $159. I mean, this McQueen stuff is gonna be upwards of five to $10,000, depending on what you pick. But love, love, love this number. Then we have here, it's kind of in the spirit of the McQueen long coat. I love this vegan leather, kind of asymmetrical closure, full length jacket here. It's super cute. And for 150 euros, like, why not? It's very cute. I love it. I love the big shoulder. Super, super, super cute. Let's flip through here. I mean, look how cute it is. Very on trend. Love the belting. Love all of it. Then there's another knock, another nod, another nod to McQueen. This little mini dress by, by Bardot as well. So, um, love it here. Something about this mini dress is giving me a little bit of Frankie shop. Let me flip through here and let you see but super cute. I would do it with more of an opaque type, but to each his own. So love this. It's kind of, this kind of reminds me of, this is a two four. It like, is it McQueen? Is it Frankie shop? Who knows? So Frankie shop does these really cool. Let me show you these really cool kind of sculpted open uh, shirts that are, I think that are also sold out because I wanted to get one. I'm afraid my chichis are a little bit too big, but it's super pretty. And then they have that version in, um, in a dress. And then I absolutely adore this one and I could probably pull that one off. This one isn't sold out, I'm, I'm considering it, like seriously considering it. And then from the same designer, cut out blazer. Love this at Shopbop. All these will be linked. So love the cutout blazer, super cool. I feel like if you're a person who doesn't want to show any skin, maybe do like a naked wardrobe bodysuit like under a tank that's kind of flesh tone. That way you're smooth, but you still get the, um, the pretty silhouette silhouette created from the V's that like bring in your waistline. But I think it's really cool. And then, um, I feel like I've shown a lot of black and white, but that's kind of my vibe. She doesn't wear tons of color. Uh, and then here we, we have it in the, oh, little Instagram notification. And then here we have a, a mini dress version of it with like the double slits, which I also think is really cute. And I probably wouldn't wear it as a mini dress because, you know, it's not really my thing, but to each his own, I would wear it with denim or what I would do with it, uh, which is kind of a wink to Balmain. Balmain is doing these like longer, um, blazer dresses with like ruffle polka dot skirts under it. It's giving just kind of 80s vibe and I like it a lot. I feel like a Gen Zer. I've been saying giving a lot. Because if I started saying mid and on God and cap or no cap, you guys just, someone form an intervention. Like I've been here too long. So I'm too old for this. 
Then, oh, honorable mention, because I was, I saw Balmain too, but spoiler alert, nothing looks like Balmain. The Balmain show was insane. And Olivier, uh, the creative director at Balmain now, also he's got like this Milli Vanilli wig. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but he posted before the show that all the designs were like stolen off the truck and it was giving my dog ate my homework. And so I commented, I was like, oh, this just sounds like very trolly of me to comment. This sounds like my dog ate my homework, but I commented that and then I saw the show. You guys, amazing. Like, oh, how about shot to father? It just make me speak in tongues. Like it was so good. So good that I had to go on the site. I couldn't even remember where I where I put the comment. So like I scrolled through to try to find it. I had commented that on Women's Wear Daily. Scroll down. You guys it took me probably like 15 minutes to find my comment, and I deleted it because I was I was blown away. So yes, someone probably stole those. They were incredible, and. It was a little bit of classic Balmain that you would expect, but then they had these really cool like florals done in like stones and lots of polka dots. And it kind of felt a little bit like Balmain and Carolina Herrera had a baby, but it was still like classic Balmain. It didn't give you the vibes that you got from, I don't know, a couple of years back, uh, Saint Laurent, which had a really good show this year. They'd done a show and it just felt like Chanel. It felt like like Diet Prada did this whole thing, making fun of it. My girlfriend, as soon as like it was like airing and my best friend, hey Malika, calls me and she's like, dude, this looks like Chanel. And I'm like, it does, it's exactly what I was thinking. And then Diet Prada did this whole review where he like pretended to not notice that it was Saint Laurent and kept like mistakenly calling it Chanel. It was very petty and I was here for all of it. But um, you guys, I have no idea. Oh, bomb on. So, so uh, the, all the Balmain stuff just it looks like Balmain but also it had like these like very feminine I, I can't explain it it was these very feminine palettes and colors but still very structured but a little bit flirty and playful because I feel like Balmain is very like military and structured shoulders and big buttons but they just had all these like flowy fabrics like paired with more of this like masculine, strong, the juxtaposition of it. It was just beautiful. Chef's kiss to Balmain, it was great. So, um, not sure how I fell down that rabbit hole, but, oh, full circle. So, Bardot has like little girl versions of a Balmain blazer. Look at this. Uh, Lincoln will have both of these. They are so cute. And they're $109. Like, I spent more than that on like a dress at Janie and Jack. Like, she's getting it. How cute is it? Right? Oh my gosh, she must own it. She must own it in navy. It's adorable. And she must also own it in black. How cute is that? And then we're gonna be matchers because I swore I'd never be that mom and then here I am being that mom shamelessly. I don't care, it is what it is. So this next dress, I feel like could be a twofer. I feel like you'd look at it and if it was on a runway, you would say, is it McQueen? Is it Herrera? Could it be Monique Boulier? I don't know. Who could it be? So uh, it is also Bardot, Bardot, Bard. It's from Nordstrom. It's one of those Nordstrom brands. And so I, because of the price point and the quality of the fabric, I am considering it more of a high street fast fashion brand. So isn't it adorable? So it kind of puts me in the mindset of um, that ruffle Alexander McQueen that I showed previously but it's really flirty, so it could maybe also be Carolina Herrera, so I'm not sure, but that brings me to the next runway show that I saw. Herrera was fantastic. I like that the models, I think it was held in a museum. I don't know if it was the, I don't, I'm not really sure if it was the moment. I'm not really sure which museum it was, but after they walked through the museum, they walked outside on the street and like everybody got to see the designs. And I love when like designers democratize like the viewing of their show because some of their things are, even expensive on the resale market and so they gave everybody an opportunity to kind of admire it because I feel like it's like art and I feel like everyone should be able to enjoy art so I love that they kind of democratize their show just so everybody could see it, it was right okay here's Beyonce in some custom Carolina Herrera loving it here is just that classic Herrera red I feel like it's very similar to my Chanel red my McQueen red my um Blue baton red, I feel like very, very much in the family. 
Here we have, just this is classic Herrera silhouettes, like puffy sleeve and satin midi length skirt. This is very classic Herrera. Um, love the buttons here. I love that the buttons on the shirt are down the center, the buttons on the skirt are asymmetrical, which is kind of her thing. And then I think this is from her resort collection. This is super cute and I wanted to buy it. But again, you know, just I have to be careful about what I spend my money on. Like, do I want to spend $3,000 on a dress? I don't know. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, let's just wait till it goes on the resale market. My boobs are itchy. I think this like tweet is making my boobs itchy. I don't know why my boobs are so itchy. They're just itchy. Okay, should I cut that out? Probably won't, probably won't. It's gonna, that's not gonna end up on the cutting room floor. My boobs are just really itchy today. Maybe it's the tweed. You guys, it was like 60 degrees today and that is like, I mean, it's not cool, but that's all I need to like pull out my tweeds. We're here. Tweeds are here. If you can wear your pumpkin spice, wear your pumpkin spice. If you can drink your pumpkin spice, I can wear my tweed. Leave me alone, mind your business. I'll just have itchy boobs. Okay, so love this. And then she also did some beautiful coats and beautiful trenches. It's just also pretty. And here we have a really pretty uh, trench. It's not a classic trench, but it's beautiful. Love it. So did I find something similar? Yes, I did. I sure did. Mm -hmm, she did. So love this top uh, at Off Fifth, Saks Off Fifth. Is it Avant Look? I love it. You guys, look at this top. Hold on. Let me pull it up for you. Whoops. Okay. There we go. So I love it. I love the puffy sleeve. I love the bow. It's very feminine and flowy, but also doesn't like paper sack, but it is like oversized. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed. Did I buy it? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm, I did. I hope there's some for you, but if not, sorry, you can admire me. No, that's petty. Don't admire me in it. Go and see if there's more. But I think for that price point, for this beautiful blouse, like it's a win, like just, seven days a week, it's a win. So love that. Then I also found, wait for a drum roll please, at the Nordies. This, I think the brand is Reformation. And I found this dress. And it is giving Herrera, like I, I am, I don't know it for sure, but I am 100% certain that this is something that she's done before. How amazing is this with the little peekaboo white on the top? And I feel like you could do this really fun, like with a long sleeve shirt and like a bow tie under it to make it appropriate for fall. It's so pretty. I ordered that too. It's gorgeous. So you will see me in this all the seasons. And then on Mango, you guys, so I have not referenced anything from Zara here. And let me just tell you why. I feel like, too many Molly Sue's and Becky's, and Molly Sue, that's two people, not one. Molly Sue and Becky have found out about Zara and then they disrespect it. Saint, come on up, my dog is making noise. Come on up, buddy. Uh, oh, okay, okay, today, today. I have no idea where I left off. Sorry, dog was going crazy and where did I leave off? Mm-hmm, yep. Oh, Zara. So I was talking about um, all the, being very petty, all the Mollies, the Sues, and, and the Peggies, or Beckys, I don't know. They're in Zara, and you feel like Zara typically has these like super cool things that like no one's in, and you're gonna wear your cool Zara piece, and it's gonna be like, where is that from? But you walk in, and everybody has it on, and then people have it on like wrong, like they have it on with like a shoe from Shein, and she don't. She don't do she in, she's out. So I just am not showing many things from Zara now because secret's out, everybody's caught on to it. And so I don't know, it's very petty, but I just have not shown anything from Zara. But my new jam is Mango. Love Mango. I ordered a wool coat from them. Now their wools are impeccable. And so I think traditionally you would think of a wool as like to be warm, has to be like the super heavy, you know, boxy thing. So their wool is like 100% wool. It's so soft and so warm. I love all of their wool coats. And so this white coat that I saw on Mango, check out this white coat from Herrera, super pretty. And then look at this one that I found at Mango. How beautiful. I just ordered, these coats are not cheap. This is high street fashion, so almost contemporary prices. So this coat is like $300. I bought um, my cream one with like a cashmere scarf when they were having like a 30% off sale. And so the next sale, I think I'm gonna get this white one. I love all their coats. They're so beautiful, they're so warm. Like the fabric is just rich and luscious and it's just gorgeous. 
And then they also have this red one that is giving me Herrera vibes all day. Like, can you imagine this red under like a pink dress or, or if you're super extra, like peekaboo it open and like do a big white belt over it. It would just be a moment. So love, love, love this here. And then, um, I know that Herrera is like Burberry is typically what you think of for a trench coat. Like that's the brand when you think trench, but I had two Burberry, Burberry trench coats and, um, there's something about them. I don't know if it's like just the fabric of it. They, I think they are water resistant, but I just felt like they were loud and uncomfortable and I wasn't into it. And for that price, I didn't want to feel like, I don't know, I had a white one and I had a tan one and I've since sold them both. They just weren't my vibe, but I do have a Herrera one and I have ordered a short version of this one from Mango and I really like them a lot. So just wanted to put that in there as an honorable mention. Um, and it's super, super beautiful. And it's also super beautiful opened. And I don't know if the Burberry changes because they line it with their like classic check. I don't know, but I like the, the Mango one better. Well, you guys, I got through an entire show and it feels like it wasn't an hour. And I'm super, super duper proud of myself. So all these things will be linked on my website, uh, styledbyninaj.com. If you're looking for my website and you're looking at this on Instagram, go to the link tree in my bio, tap the link tree. Once you're there, tap the button that says shop my Instagram. If you're looking at this on the YouTube, on the YouTube, you guys, I'm like a boomer. Am I a boomer? Am I a Gen Zer? Like, I don't know. I'm a millennial, like with an identity crisis. If you're looking at this on YouTube, hit the Chevron to expand it. And in the description, I will put a link to everything discussed here. And I think that's all. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will be back at some point, who knows when. But in the meantime and in between time, hug each other, love each other, and stay fabulous, dolls.